got a shiny new Windows device for the holidays and you're about to set it up for the first time? Well, don't worry. With a few tech-savvy tips and tricks, you're about to get a whole new outlook on just how awesome this new gadget can be. When you turn it on, you'll need to sign in with an email account. Any account will work, but Outlook.com is by far the best match here. Why? Well, with Outlook.com and the Windows Mail app, it adds features like sweep and automated replies, helping you clean up, clear out, and bring sanity to your inbox. It also brings your virtual world together, simple and frustration-free. Now, when you sign in to a Windows device with an Outlook.com account, key apps and services like Mail, Calendar, SkyDrive, and People with its consolidated contact list all sync so that you can move from one task app or service to the next without signing in each time. Another huge time saver. And you can access all of this even when you're on some other device. So everything you need is always within reach. It's free to sign up or to switch over if you already have another established email address. You just sign up for Outlook.com, then add your old emails to it like this. You click your username in the upper right-hand corner, click Account Settings, click Add or Change Aliases, and then click Add Alias. Enter a new email address, then click Add Alias again. Then click Make Primary so that this new Outlook.com email address becomes your default for your Microsoft account. There, done. Now you have access to all of your old accounts while still reaping the benefits of having the right email for the job and this device now perfectly in place. See, I told you it was easy. Enjoy your new gadget. And if you have any other questions, you can read more at chipchick.com.